there is so much to hear, so much to see, so many things to smell, and so many things to touch and feel. They all have a tale so to tell. I just uh, go back. Would you like to listen and see one beautiful tale? Right. Um, you would definitely feel and touch it. Right. It is a live uh, and colorful tale. Preserve many tale of a colorful persona who aims to arrest motion, which is life by artificial means, and hold it fixed so that a hundred years later, when a stranger looks at it, it moves again since it is life. We are all far more capable than we ever imagined. A strong mind can control the body and if you make up your mind that you are doing good, you eventually will. He rightly believes. They were enchanted by his boyish enthusiasm, scholarly knowledge and diffident charm. A unique blend that makes him one of the best loved human being. He has continued throughout his life to discover new aspects of his genius in his paintings. His lovable and respected painter, Shajant Parikh, an artist who is living with every fiber of his being. Great painter Pablo Picasso said, There are no age barriers to a youth. It's truly reciprocated in artists like Jan Parikh, who is youthful, loves to be among youngsters, share his art with them so and even learn from uh, them. One of the program you can see, our uh, circus, right? A jula, uh, full of freedom, right? Every form of this universe has a rhythm. So he loves to dance and to be in rhythm when he paints. But the fact is, colors and shapes dance on canvas when Parikh holds his brush. His energy and a unique pattern of work makes him icon and idol for young aspiring painters. I was walking. I was enjoying it. And long sort of hundred, hundred and fifty feet sort of uh, work just from the reverse side. His own pace of mood and enthusiastic nature flows out in the form of innumerable shapes, incidents, and imaginations. Spontaneous flow of brush is his favorite art, challenges he likes in his work. What is shaping out of his brush? Oh my god! Amazing! Until he rotates the picture, one can hardly observe what the creation is all about. And the artist influences the hearts of art lovers. We would love to know who influences you, Mr. Parikh. See, I'm a lover of nature, right? So I love very quiet and nice and natural place also. So today also, in the age of 68, uh, for my painting, I visit uh, this sort of place for in, uh, inspiration. But the main part of that is a rhythm, which rhythm I just uh, observe in uh, trees, sometimes in a birds, flying birds also, sometimes in a dancing form also. So time by time, uh, when my mind is empty, again and again, I visit, uh, I uh, create a friendship with the nature and I just make it in very contemporary manner also. When I was a student in Baroda, so that time, uh, whenever I visit uh, Baroda Museum and Picture Gallery, yet I remember, yet I love that those two paintings, the Kanchan Janga and Dutta, that was done by Nicholas Rorik. Oh, beautiful painting. Same way, Amruta Shergil was also one of the important painters those days. And Samitish in Gujarat also, I love Rasik Lalpari. And Bende was my guru. So I love his color. And uh, he had given me so many aspects of uh, human life as a painting also. 
This is rock artist Jan Parikh finds in his studio. It is a part of his residence on second floor in Vadodara near airport. Father of two sons and husband of Vidya, a truly supporting housewife, he believes that there cannot be a better location which would trigger his thoughts. Working from home enables him to be with family all the time. Sir, in fact, I am very lucky that without any sort of problem, I passed my 45 years as a painter, freelance painter. in that uh, very important thing in our indian family that is the relationship with the family how they cooperate to you how on all sort of matter uh, they don't disturb right if they no cooperate that's all right but they should not disturb so that way in my family my wife is there uh, all the time because all the time she will not be successful i will not able to sell the painting so that time she maintain the family and that way she just continue the whole development of the family jan tarik was born in a small village called bandini in gujarat he acquired his post graduate diploma in painting from fine arts faculty ms university vadodara as a brother i am just with him from the childhood till now so i have seen him in many positions and working in many ways as i was his teacher and a brother i told to my parents his grandfather that allow him let him do whatever he likes and jayant was allowed to go to baroda which changed his total life and future too moreover our charotar kira district is rich with wall paintings he saw wall paintings and was inspired he cop copied wall paintings and showed to bendre while interview bendre was pleased and he was taken up as a not merely brother but as a teacher i have seen him hard working when he was coming to peach he was just sketching sketching and sketching he did sketches in thousands at baroda and at peach he became a master sketcher and his 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 first award was of the state on sketching bendre is our family guru you see he taught me he taught my younger brother manu parik and he taught jayant parik bendre told me mr parik come here you see don't advise your brother never advise your brother to have service let him be the artist a freelance artist and now today because of that jayant parik is a freelance artist and he is his fame is international he received a gold medal in international graphics exhibition in 1985 one of his graphics was published in a book titled indian print making today by jahangir art gallery mumbai he has received senior research fellowship for old indian monuments during 2005 2007 he has held over 65 solo exhibitions of paintings graphics and photographs at various cities in india and at new jersey usa he has participated in numerous art exhibitions across the world we had an opportunity to catch parik's friend and friend mr hitesh rana owner of surgeon art gallery jain parik sir ko hum bahut saal se jante hain aur do teen baar to unke ghar pe ja ke ek do baar show humne as a gallery mein show karna hai aisa fix kiya tha but every time kuch na kuch problem ke liye hum avoid karte the aur jaise artist log kaam karte wo dil laga ke kaam karte aisa hum hum bhi jo exhibition karte hain wo aisa sochte ki ek baar karenge to dil laga ke karenge तो लॉन्ग टाइम के बाद उनका एक शो हमने फिक्स किया था अभी जस्ट डिसम्बर में सर्जन आर्ट गैलरी में एज ए सीनियर आर्टिस्ट हम सोच के रखा था कि जो भी कोरिंग करेंगे वो अच्छी तरह से उनका रिप्रेजेंट करेंगे और फर्स्ट टाइम उनका इतना बड़ा शो हमने सर्जन आर्ट गैलरी में रिप्रेजेंट किया और उनका शो जब हमने किया 
तो इतना सक्सेसफुल रहा कि हर एक लोगों ने बहुत ही अप्रिशिएट किया रिसेंटली ही इज ऑनर्ड बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गुजरात बाई अवॉर्डिंग हिम द प्रेस्टिजियस कवर पुरस्कार फॉर द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एट the society has accepted me my form my painting otherwise uh, whatever thing i will produce it's not possible so society was also responsible sacred architecture is also seen in jain tariq's works they are marked by vibrancy movement and festivity that is rooted in ethos yet very contemporary ah, painting is the one thing so with the, you should be good sketcher you can have a good command on illustration right say we will learn photography also and sometime is problem you take a contract of photography and at least maintain your family same way you learn um, um, this uh, graphic uh, designing also commercial art also sculpture also and uh, mural designing door designing so that way uh, as a student of fine arts i learn many related sort of uh, uh, technique mural art is another colorful feather in the crown of painter jan pari he believes that like any other forms of art murals do have a feeling of expression they do have emotion stimuli and spark His swing of vision and creation has structured various types of murals. Well, in mural, uh, it's not like my painting because in a painting, I don't care for anybody. It's my music. I create in my studio, and somebody is interested, they buy my painting. While in mural, uh, the person who hand over the whole commission work, they first uh, discuss with the artist. Okay, this is our institution, music and dance college, or the office, or a hospital, or this or that. So we have to go with the form. But whatever creation you can do with any sort of medium, but you have to be very careful for the subject. I have done lots of murals in wood, in a brass also, in a ceramics also, in a waste material also. Because sometimes I don't stick with the material. what is the material fact from factory waste material i see and i iterate those material but the very important in mural that it is not like a one or two days job it should be long lasting for 100 years also when is apply on the institution it uh, whole building will collapse that time it should die otherwise uh, it's lots of problem create and it is not emotional also you have to control your emotion because if you apply if you struck any sort of tiles that whole color scheme you have to maintain eh, with all sort of thing the uh, same way you have to create a relationship with the, the liberal also live as you are going to die tomorrow and learn as if you are going to live forever live the present with full breath and create the best is the ideology of pari Sixty-eight year old, young, handsome, and cheerful artist has a very distinct and strict schedule to laugh, jog, jump, run, walk to cycle, and exercise every morning to keep himself fit. We met his friend Shubhra Pathak at Jogger's Park. Oh, Jain Parik, you now for about last five years I've been with him, you know, and he only bad, you know, because. So look at the personality he has. You know, very mixing type of person he is. He is more inclined to the nature, particularly. We look at you know, his thoughts are very strong, uh, from nature to human being, you know, from animals and another you know, different subject he has in his mind. You know, and creativity is fantastic. I tell you, I seen you know one. I still remember one picture. You know, out of many, I have seen him. You know. and that is all regarding you know the competition part of it you know uh, that was the subject he has developed within himself you know which i could see okay there was a race of uh, race for the jackpot you know if you just look at you know fantastic you know it was in a way he was trying to communicate the message to the people there is always a race in the life and you have to be number one all the time 
It will be an innocent wonderland experience if science allows us to visit Kremlin of an artist to observe the heavy traffic of vivid thoughts. Dr. Palin analyzes the psychobiological face of a visual artist. Among various forms of art, like uh, music, dancing, visual art is a very special media. Visual sensation, when they enter in our brain, they reach to the visual cortex and from there they spread in the whole of the brain. There are some centers in the brain known as centers for thinking, centers for emotions, feelings. We call it limbic system. Now whatever visual signals enter, they go in all these areas and create different kind of thoughts, different kind of emotions, feelings and then they contribute to the whole biology. They, they affect the, um, the release of acid in our stomach or the heartbeat or the blood pressure. So all biological processes, they are connected with our emotions and our thoughts. Jayant Bhai I know for last 15 years. When we see Jayant Bhai's life, his living and his way of painting and when we look at the painting made by Jayant Bhai, we find a lot of similarity between his personality and his painting. His paintings are as if they are alive. The choice of color, usually bright colors which give you pleasure, uh, the forms and the movements, the motion. So when a person would see those painting, person would feel motivated, the motivation, the enthusiasm to live and enjoy life, that comes. Uh, his paintings create a kind of joy which is mixed with serenity. Joy with serenity, you know, the kind of what we call bliss. His another passion is to be among youngsters, also refresh and update his theories with upcoming artists. He serves the students where he was a student once upon a time, MS University, Department of Fine Arts, Vadodara. Professor Markan Bhatt feels proud to talk about his artist friend Jayant. See, Jayant Parekh is a very versatile artist. When you see his paintings, the first feeling is that you get a thrill of enjoyment. His colors are spread, thrown in such a way, he sprinkles the colors and he adds the first impression and first feeling which he has seen hmm, uh, through that particular object which he is going to paint. It may be a temple, hmm, it may be a forest, anything. So what he has uh, got, the enjoyment which, uh, which he has got, he tries to depict in his painting. And immediately as soon as you see his paintings, you see the beauty of the colors. Hmm? And those colors and the figures create a wonderful lie. We, in our language, we call it lie, a rhythm. Hmm? And without that lie, life is not there. So he creates through his colors, through his brush, through his canvas, and through his experience, hmm, a rhythm hmm, and a life, hmm, which anybody who sees get lost and gets so much enjoyment. So <clears throat> he is one of a very uh, eminent uh, painter of our country uh, and of course uh, of our faculty of fine arts and of our Baroda and really we are very proud of him. And this type of thing when it reaches to the younger people, it inspires them hmm, to go in the field of art. Hmm, that This has something to say about life. Hmm. This tells, this speaks uh, our day to day life our grievances, our enjoyment, our miseries, our ecstasy hmm? and that is the wonderful work which is being done 
by James Farrakh. Every form has an aura sphere. Actions and reactions are its periphery. It is distant art to identify by an artist or an art lover. Our art was born with a purpose, with a twofold purpose. One was primarily to promote young artists from across the country who are serious in their body of work and who do not get a good platform to display their works. Jain Parekh Saab is known well to me for the past about four to five years. To begin with, I'll take the liberty of saying that he is a finer human being than an artist. A deep sense of commitment, true to his work, he paints what he feels best. His paintings, what I've seen over the past few years, four to five years, drawings, murals, reflect a sense of happiness and joy. He is also a connoisseur of music and dance in various forms and he tries to portray that through his work. There is this entire universe which this, we have several planets. The beautiful phenomenon of life is present only on earth. He derives immense pleasure from a conglomerate of men, women, flowers, uh, flora and fauna, animals and he presents them in a rhythmic fashion giving his own personal sense on the canvas and brings these canvas to life. What is important from an artist's point of view for the best presentation? Uh, as a painter, I want to uh, produce or I want to give something very unusual and shocking. So when my paintings talk to you, oh it's fine, successful painting. Sun has a royal quality to shine and spread in its golden rays, whether it rises or sets. Exploring all the dark and lovely woods and strength to go miles ahead with the fading aging color, giant parade is shining out with new color. Taking in hands Guru Benway's guide with his art and talent pride, he is nurturing the future artist to welcome all universal forms and colors in the world of painting.